Good morning and welcome, Ms. Schrager, Rabbi Sief, Mr. David Bloch, and Mr. Alan Joffe, Chairman and Vice Chairman of the South African Board of Jewish Education, Mrs. Shelley Frankel and Mr. Daryl Frankel, Principal and Deputy Principal of King David Linksfield Primary School, Mrs. Liat Amar Aran, Director of Israel Center, parents, teachers, and students. Take a moment. Imagine a life without Israel. One feels almost unsafe just thinking about it. We are so blessed to have a country that makes us proud to be Jewish, to have a place where we can feel safe, to have a land which allows us to celebrate our legacy and tradition, to have somewhere we can call home. This would not be our reality if not for the generations of brave soldiers who made the ultimate sacrifice for millions of other people and the state of Israel. Today, we commemorate Yom Hazikaron. We remember each and every person who has given his or her life in the struggle which led to the establishment of the state of Israel. And for all military personnel who were killed while in active duty in Israel's armed forces. We are grateful to over 23,000 men and women who gave everything so we could be free in a place that we call home. It is no coincidence that Yom HaZikaron happens to be the day preceding Israel's Independence Day. Yom HaZikaron brings in Yom HaTzma'ut. The saddest day on the Jewish calendar suddenly transforms into a day of absolute joy and celebration. Joining these two days together conveys a simple message. Israelis owe the independence and the very existence of the Jewish state to the soldiers who sacrifice their lives for it. It is not only the family and friends of a soldier who mourn and feel a gaping hole in their lives after a soldier's death. This deep feeling of grief for our brothers and sisters is felt by the whole Jewish nation. We don't have to know someone personally who fought and died fighting for Israel to understand and feel the sadness of the loss experienced by our nation. Golda Meir once said, it is true, we have won all our wars, but we have paid for them. Israel is a miracle occurring right before our eyes. But like the poem by Natan Altaman, no state was given to a nation on a silver platter. And this miracle came at a terrible cost. All those young men and women who were here one moment and gone the next. Israel is becoming more secure and strong with every day that goes by. The numbers of the fallen and victims of terror are rapidly declining. But it is still our duty to ensure that the last fallen will be the last fallen. In their death, they commanded us to live. It's important that we remember them all year and not just today and tomorrow. It's important that we accompany each action with the thought, our reality is purely because of their sacrifice. We must do all we can to ensure that their memory continues to be honored. Because in their death, they didn't only command us to live, but they commanded us how to continue fighting. And so, we should promise to the fallen and their families that we will continue to carry the flag of those no longer with us. We will continue to build a country they worked so hard to keep alive, a flourishing country, a home for any and every Jew that continues to be resilient in the face of all adversity. A country that reaches the moon, but with its feet solid on the ground. When the siren is sounded and the candles are lit, we remember the great men and women who have served in the IDF, who did not only serve Israel, but protected us as Jews around the world. Each one has a story, not just a name. Each one is somebody's son, daughter, brother, sister, mother, or father. 
Each one is a hero who put his or her life at risk so that we may say, Am Yisrael Chai. Please will the school rise for the tefillot and remain standing until the end of the siren. Izkor Elohim et banav uvnotav asher cherfu nafsham b'mavak al medina b'derech v'et chayale tzva ha'agana li'Israel asher naflu b'milchamot Israel. Izkor Israel v'et barach bezaro v'yeval al ziva alumim v'chemdat ha'gvura hukdushat ha'ratzon u'mesirut ha'nefesh. אשר נספו במערכות הכבדות. היו גיבורי הדרור והניצחון, הנאמנים והאמיצים, חתומים בלב ישראל, לדור, דור. May God remember his sons and daughters who endangered their lives in the days of struggle prior to the establishment of the state of Israel. And may he remember the soldiers of Tzahel who fell in the wars of Israel. May the people of Israel keep them in their heart, and may their memory be a blessing. May they commemorate their lost youth, their bravery and valor, their devotion and self-sacrifice, which ended on the battlefield. May the memory of the loyal and valiant heroes of freedom and victory be sealed forever within the hearts of Israel. Malay Rahamim, Shochain, Bam Romim, Hametzaim Nuchan Nuchonal, Kanfea Shina, Bemalot Kudoshim Torim Vigiborim, Kazar Harakia Mazirim, Lenish Motak Doshim, Shedil Hamu, Boho Marchot Israel, Bemachteret, Uvitz Wagen and Israel, Veshenafalu, Bemilhamtam, ומסרו נפשם על קדושת השם העם והארץ בעבור שאנו מתפללים לעילוי נשמותיהם. לכם בעל הרחמים יסירי מסתר כנפיו לעולמים ויצרור ביצרור החיים את נשמותיהם אדוני ונחלתם בגן עדן תהי מנוחתם וינוחו בשלום על משכבותיהם, ותעמוד לכל ישראל זכותם, ויעמדו לגורלים, לגורלם לקץ הימין, ונאמר אמן. O God, full of mercy, who dwells on high, grant proper rest in the wings of the divine presence, in the lofty level of the holy and the pure ones, who shine like the glow of the firmaments, for the souls of the men and women of the Israel Defense Forces who met their deaths in the wars of Israel, as well as those who were murdered in Israel and abroad by murderers of terrorist organizations. By virtue of our prayers for the ascent of their souls, may the merciful one therefore shelter them in the shelter of his wings for eternity and may he bind their souls in the bond of life. The Lord is their heritage, Eden, their place of rest. May they repose in peace in their resting places. May their merit reflect in all of our Israel, and may they meet in their destiny in the end of days. Now let us respond, Amen. Yikadau, Yikadash, Merabba. We are ma, Divra, Herute, Umnehman Cote, Bahaya Horn, Uvia Mehorn, Ufraye, to corporate Israel, Bagalausman, Kariv, Vimru, Amen. Yeshmar, Yeshle Rabba, Mimshamaya, Vahayam Alenu, Vakulisro, Vimru, Amen. Stabach, Virpa Arvensei, 
Can the school please remain standing for a moment of silence? Can the school please be seated? Brave people do cry. As the years have passed, the nation of Israel has learned to cry. Our national tragedies are connected to the threat of our existence. Israeli soldiers are a part of each and every one of us, and an attack on them is an attack on us. The pain is felt not only on a personal level, but on a national level. Today, we commemorate the fallen soldiers in all the wars that have taken place in Israel. We also commemorate the civilians who lost their lives in acts of terror. May their memories be a blessing. The following video expresses the unimaginable pain that has been part of life in Israel and still remains a reality today.
tears have fallen, many years of calling, please no more. Many broken hearted friends lost and departed, please no more. Now the time has come, everyone must stand together and be strong forevermore. Young and helpless children. Illness and confusion, please no more. Old and lonely people, hunger, war, and evil, please no more. Now the time has come, everyone has won forever. Let his kingdom rise again. Enemies of freedom, hatred without reason, please no more. Weapons of destruction, terror and corruption, please no more. Now the time has come, return and stay this time forever, let his glory shine on. On this day, we honor the memory of more than 23,000 young men and women who gave their lives for the creation and security of the Jewish state. With their death, they commanded us life. Bemotam heim tivu lanu et hachayim. Oh, 
When I die, something of me will die in you. When you die, something of you in me will die with you. Because we all because all of us, yes, all of us, are one living human tapestry. And if one of us leaves us, something dies in us, and something remains in him. I wish I knew how to silence our anger in spite of our pain to ask forgiveness, to start from the beginning.
please stand and remain standing for the tefillah Misha Barach and the singing of Hatikva. Misha Barach Avotenu, Avraham Yitzchak Yaakov, who Yivarech et Chaleit Sva Haganali Israel. Ha umdim al Mishma Artsenu, Vare Elohenu, Migvul Halvanon, Va Admit Bar Mitraim, Umina Yamagadol, Ad Lavoha Arava, Bayavasha, Bavir Uviam. Itena donai to venu, Hakamimalenu nigafim lifnehem. Hakadosh Baruchu Yishmor, Viel Sirha Lenu, Mikol Saravutsuka, Umikonega Umahala. The Yishlach Brachava Hatzlacha, Bakoma Seyrehem. Yad Berso Nenu Tichtahem, Via Trembachetu Yishwa, Via Terit Nitzachon. Vikuyamba Hemakatuv, Kiadunalo Hechem, Haulech, Imechem, Lehilechem Lechem, Imoivechem Lehoshiat Hem, Venomar, Amen. May he who blessed our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, bless the soldiers of the Israel Defense Forces who keep guard over our country and cities of our Lord, from the border with Lebanon to the Egyptian desert and from the Mediterranean Sea to the approach to the Arava, be they on land, air, or sea. May the Almighty deliver us our enemies who arise against us. May the Holy One, blessed be He, preserve them and save them from all sorrow and peril, from danger and ill. May He send blessing and success in all their endeavors. May He deliver to them, those who hate us, and crown them with salvation and victory, so that the saying may be fulfilled through them. For the Lord, your God, who walks with you, and to fight your enemies for you, and to save you, and let us say, Amen. This now concludes our Yom Zikaron ceremony. We carry the memory of our fallen soldiers in our hearts forever. Please will everyone make their way to the third period. Hashem